You know, we have acknowledged, the United States, uh, that sometimes we use remotely piloted aircraft to conduct targeted strikes against specific al-Qaeda terrorists in order to prevent attacks on the United States and to save American lives. <clears throat> we conduct those strikes because they are necessary to mitigate ongoing actual threats, to stop plots, prevent future attacks, and again, save American lives. These strikes are legal, uh, they are ethical, and they are wise. It's a chilling document. It goes to the heart of concerns we have in our democracy about the relationship between the government and citizens, violations of the most fundamental guarantee that the Constitution provides, which is that the government will not take citizens' lives without due process of law. As you know, Congress authorized uh, in uh, an authorization of the use of military force uh, all necessary military force to be used in our fight against al-Qaeda. And uh, certainly under that authority, the President acts in the United States' interest to uh, protect the United States and its citizens from al-Qaeda. We're setting a very dangerous precedent when we permit high-level officials to kill American citizens and others without review by any court of the standards that they are using to take life or whether the evidentiary basis for their killing decisions is sound or not.